it's Broadway Biker here, and I'm about to leave everything I love to get on my bike and cross the country over 3,000 miles. <laughs> oh God, what am I doing? There's some big shenanigans going down in 2019. So I thought I would just come on here and kind of give you an update on what the heck I'm doing. So I'm totally not offended today. If you just put the screen down and kind of tune in with your ears, go ahead and start cooking your dinner, cooking your cat's dinner, or if you want to join me for my ride, keep watching this video. After months and months of thinking and deciding, and undeciding and redeciding and anti deciding and uh, pro deciding, finally took the leap and acted on a dream and a goal that I've had for a pretty long time. So I'm always someone who really strives for a lot of personal growth in the form of discomfort. By that I don't mean like putting yourself in danger. I don't mean putting other people in danger or making other people feel unwelcome or scared or hurt. I really want that discomfort for myself because I know that there's the capability for great growth through great discomfort. And I seek that out in a lot of different areas of my life. So I decided that I am going to get on my bicycle and I'm gonna bike from the southernmost portion of South Carolina to hopefully the coast of California. And now before you think, whoa, 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 you're a tiny little girl, how can you do that? Don't underestimate me, friend. But in all seriousness, uh, I am very scared. Oh boy, oh boy, are there opportunities for things to go awry on this trip. But the thing is, is that I have had the idea of a large scale bicycle travel, tour, whatever you want to call it, for a really long time now. The only reason that I haven't acted on it is mainly fear. Mainly fear. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of leaving everything that I have built here in terms of relationships, in terms of artistic opportunities, in terms of community. I'm afraid of leaving the security of having a job that pays you hourly. I'm afraid of challenging my own perceptions of my abilities. I'm also afraid of challenging my perceptions of how I interact with other people in the world. I'm gonna have to ask for help and that makes me afraid <laughs> because stupidly despite being someone who genuinely loves making connections with people I'm afraid of connecting with people sometimes which is so weird like as a performer why am I afraid of actually locking eyes with someone and like being me in performing it's a little different because there's also the opportunity to be vulnerable behind the filter of someone else allowing myself to be vulnerable through someone else is this an acting am i an acting blog now anyway on this trip i'm going to be interacting primarily with strangers with people i have never met before so i'm worried about that you know i'm afraid of all the normal things like being eaten by an alligator being stung by a scorpion. There's a snake in my boot. Definitely worried about the snake in my boot. Uh, my bike will explode. I will explode. The police are gonna attack me for sleeping in a bush or something. Just lots of stuff, you know. The basic touring worries. So, haha! <laughs> Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I think I was just tired of waiting. I had said no to myself so many times. And I think personally, that's something that has really been a hang up for me. I just needed something that was mine. And this journey won't be mine at all, you know? <laughs> it's gonna be a complete collaboration. But I just needed to feel like I had a certain amount of power and respect for my own self that I could make this decision and I could execute this plan and I could do this. Ah, me sunny eyeballs cannot see. So 
I'm doing this. I'm getting on my bike and I'm traveling across the country because I love bikes. <laughs> And apparently I love them so much that I want to spend 3,000 miles with them in the winter. Granted, it'll be the winter in the south of the United States, so it won't be that bad at all. I'm doing this because I love people, because I want to prove myself wrong about myself, that I don't make work for myself, that I have to rely heavily on other people to get me out of bad circumstances, and about my perceptions of other people. Um, that people are potentially bad and evil and like stranger danger. Why else am I doing this? I'm doing this because I want a freaking adventure. I'm doing this because I'm a young-ish 20-something. Yeah, I guess that's part of it too. There you go. I'm a dumb youth and that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> I also decided to ride my bike across the country because I I don't know what the South is. I don't know what the Southern United States is. Here we go. My stereotypes unfolded in no particular order. Slavery, guns, swamps, soul food. This is including the Southwest too, not just the Deep South. Rattlesnakes, scorpions, heat, more guns with cowboys attached to them. Yep, apparently having no real familiar connections with the South, I've just picked up on a whole lot of shitty stereotypes. And I hope that I get the opportunity to kick some of those out of the bag. Something that I'm working on is becoming what I call the queen of my own reality. Maybe I'm idealistic. Maybe I'm overly naive. When I talk about being the queen of my own reality, I don't mean that I create everything, you know, that my, I make my life exactly how I want. Rah! No, being the queen of my own reality does mean I am an active collaborator in my life. I do not wait for things to happen to me. I do not wait for other people to make things happen to me that I want. I do not allow things that I don't want to sit with me and live with me. I feel empowered to remove myself from situations I don't want and to work towards creating situations that I do want for myself. I go through hard times and I go through good times, but I do them with a mentality that I am not helpless. And this is a huge part of that. I am not helpless. I have so many opportunities during this trip of over 3,000 miles to be helpless. And I'm gonna get through it. So here we go. Here we go. Here we freaking go. I'm quitting jobs. I'm leaving housing situations. And I'm keeping a lot of things that I love. I don't know what will happen when I get back. I don't know what will happen on this trip. But I'm gonna do it. And I hope that you're gonna join me. Obviously this trip isn't about documentation for me. It's more about having an opportunity to really sit down with myself and just listen. Just listen. I never listen to myself. And the times that I really do listen to myself are when I'm on my bike. So yeah, after a lot of rambling, Broadway Biker is crossing the country, the United States of America, on her bike. She's doing it alone. Why am I talking like I'm someone else? I, but I will also be doing it with an army of helpers, people I don't even know. And I will be doing it with a lot of personal strength and support as well. I'm gonna learn so much, and I just hope that I can pass a lot of that joy and learning and fearlessness onto you, if you want it. Here, let me force joy on you! Stay tuned, stay tuned! There's gonna be music, there's gonna be adventure, there's gonna be tips and tricks and beautiful things about bicycling and horrible things and all sorts of in-between. So subscribe, stay tuned, and I can't wait to see you on the road. All the support that people have been giving me just means so much. I just wanna say that right now. I'm really thankful for all of you. All right, get on your bikes and ride.